Hello and welcome to another video from the Inspiration College. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a personal account on SaleHe. Now, if you want to dropship products from SaleHe to eBay, then you need to create an account on SaleHe. And there are two types. You have the personal account and you also have the business account. Now, if you are a beginner, then the personal account is what you would want to create. If you have a VAT number or if you are VAT registered, VAT registered, then you need to use the business account. So I'm going to show you both of them. But before we continue with this video, this video is sponsored by Envato. So stay tuned. Design better projects faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your digital projects. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will make any project better while saving you time, effort, and money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. So guys, that Envato promotion that you just saw is a product that I'm promoting. So if you should purchase any of those products, if you're interested, then I will get a small commission. So let's just move straight into the video. So guys, uh, this is a sale he website. And if you want to create a free account, all you need to do is go to sign up free. So I would click on that and just allow it to open here. And here guys, uh, it says start drop shipping with sale he. So what you need to do is to enter your primary email address. You need to create a password uh, between 8 to 32 characters and then you also need to re-enter your password. Then you need to check this box and it says by creating an account you agree to our terms of service and privacy policy and then you click sign up. But before you click sign up you need to look here. Um, this Go10, um, it says Go10 authorized registration with Go10. So Go10 and Sale He, they are quite similar. I think um, they work hand in hand. So if you have a Go10 account, like I have a Go10 account, then you can use it to authorize um, your account creation with Sale He and vice versa. So as soon as you have done that, then you just click sign up. And here, obviously, I didn't enter anything, so it's going to be telling me to enter these because I already have an account and it's not going to allow me to create two accounts but in your case it would take you to the next screen um, and that the next screen is going to be a form that you need to fill out because remember I told you in the introduction that you need to create a personal account if you are just starting out and if you are VAT registered then you would choose the business account so let us go to the next section of the video so guys, sale he might send you an email for you to verify your email address and after you've done that, then this is the form that you are going to see on the screen. You, you know, you need to fill this form out. So as you can see, I have sale he personal account set up. So this is the personal account and uh, as you can see uh, down here, you have uh, the business type. So you have company and then you have personal. So you notice I've chosen the personal one. Uh, if you choose a uh, company, then you need VAT information and all that. And we are going to see that in the next slide. So all you need to do is to fill the information in where you have the, those red stars. So you need your first name, your last name, postcode, city, um, your country. Notice I have uh, United Kingdom here and Greater London and so on. And then you have a drop down arrow here that can with a number of different um, locations so you choose your appropriate location the same thing with this one and then you have your street address and here you have to choose um, your favorite categories so it says you can you you can select up to three main categories and then you have a drop down also so that's how I manage to get these so sports and fitness musical instruments uh, consumer electronics so you just choose whichever three you need and down here it says operation strategy sell a wide range of categories um, and then this one you have only sell selected categories so you need to choose whichever one um, is appropriate for you 
and then you can also here it says online store url so if you are running an ebay shop you can give the url of your ebay store i didn't do that i think this is optional but you can still do that if you want and then you can also give like your skype id if you want i didn't put this information in so this is what so it's quite easy this is what you're going to see so that's the personal account and um, the form continues so in the next clip i'm going to show you the rest of the form that you need to fill out so just stay tuned to the next clip so guys we are going to continue with the form so this is the next section of the form and remember for you to be able to see this form you would have to log in because you would have created an account so you can log into your uh, sale he account and i'm going to show you what the login would look like so then you would you would fill this form or you just continue filling this out uh he's talking about facebook id again you don't necessarily have to do this but you can do it if you want but what is important like these with the red star obviously you have to uh fill them out how long have you been working in the online retail business then you can choose whichever one suit you you notice i threw i choose one to three years and it says what is your marketplace so if it's amazon ebay whatever your marketplace is like mine i have etsy uh, etsy gear and also have ebay uh not really interested in amazon i did amazon fba for one year i didn't really make much money um uh, so i just stopped doing that um, and then uh where is your sale region so you might be just selling in the uk or you're selling in the us uh, or both us uk or even all of these areas so you choose whichever one you want and then you just make sure that you save it so once you have done that then your account your personal account will be created so that's all there is to it so it's just simple and then in the next clip i'm going to show you uh the business section where it is you have to provide VAT information uh i mean the, the filling out the form is the same process like the like you know this uh, personal account but it's just that you're signing up for a business account which you need to provide um, additional information in terms of VAT information and so on so just stay tuned to the next section of the video so guys this is the section for people who are creating a business account so you have to provide your VAT related information and as you can see here it says VAT administration is divided into business and individual registration business registration applies for users with VAT numbers and individual registration apply for users without a VAT number so that's really the account that we just created and it says here in part 2 for sale e products in the UK and EU warehouse you need to register the VAT number information before placing an order and you need to take note of this part here part 3 if you register the VAT number information as a business identity and be approved you will not be able to register as an individual so you have to make sure you know exactly which account you need and if you register the VAT number information as an individual and be approved you can subsequently change to a business identity if needed so I'm sure that's quite self-explanatory uh, so what is actually saying like how we just create a personal account if we had registered the VAT information then later on you know obviously you start making enough money to be qualified for you know VAT approval then you could switch to a business account but for now I think you should just start out with the personal account and it says uh, number four for the specific registration operation process please refer to and then you just read up on this information so you actually can see them here the business and the personal so you should choose the personal and then create that account which is what we did in the video so that's really it for creating an account on sale he and in the next section of the video i just um give my final thoughts so guys uh this would be the final section of the video so as you can see after you have created your personal account then when you log in then you know this is a screen that you would see something similar to this uh, where you have the information up here, warehouse, start drop shipping, member benefit, 
Uh, these you can just play around with um, on your own. Uh, log out here, then you have my sale here. Then over on the left here, you'd have my sale here. And um, you can see your cart, news, um, all the information. So the information that you just fill out, you can go to my account, which I won't go to mine um, for personal reasons, privacy reasons. So, but you can go to your account if you need to, to edit anything, like on your profile. So you notice if I click on it, I would see my profile. So when you click on my profile, that's where you would see the information that you just uh, fill in. And if you created a business account, that's where you would see your you know, VAT information and all that. And then you would have like your Skype ID. Well, this is obviously your account manager. You will be getting an account manager. So you notice my account manager is Melinda and that's her skype id that's her email so any issue i have i can just email her and this is some of the some of the sales i've made um so far so that's really what it is and then obviously any message you would get it here so i have a lot of message here that i haven't even i haven't even read them so they will provide um, information if they remove products they will send a message to tell you that they have removed products and so on so that's really what it is um, for this video guys so guys if you like this video then I would love if you could actually uh, give it a like then you could leave your comments and also just remember to subscribe if you notice we are growing um, we are going into 600 subscribers now and I uh, really appreciate everybody who subscribe and just for you to continue to watch the videos because the videos are really interesting. Uh, so watch the videos and just let me know what you think about the information provided. So thanks again for watching and catch you in another video.